Hey guys, I'm back. But more importantly, Timberborn is back. Now, update five of Timberborn has just dropped on the experimental branch, but I'm not going to be playing that until it goes live. So in the meantime, I thought, how about we do a little bit of update four? Sound good? Let's do it. We're going to be playing the folk tales because they're so cute. And we're going to be playing on what I think is probably the best map out of all of them, Helix Mountain. And of course, we like a challenge, a crazy challenge. So we're going to play on hard mode. And here they come, our little beavers, including the little baby beavers, emerging into the into this beautiful uh, and yet cold, cruel world that's going to try and kill them <laughs> in every possible way. Okay, let's take a look at this map because I said this is one of the best maps. This map is genius. This map has so many problems that it throws at you, but at the same time, there's so many opportunities to do very, very cool things. There are two water sources. One is over here, which just goes straight off the map. But if you can knock down this barricade here, the water will actually come down here, down to our little settlement. And then the Helix Mountain itself. This thing is awesome. Now, in the, in the last series, in the first episode, I built the Drought Buster. Uh, in, in this series, we're going to go one step beyond that. We're going to build the Mega Drought Buster. And it's going to involve this river valley. And it's going to be about 10 times bigger. Right. How are we going to survive? Right. In order to survive, we're going to need to keep some water during the drought. How are we going to do that? Well, we are going to put a dam across here. Now... This is going to be a temporary dam, really, just to get us across here. The, the, the place that we really want to dam is across here. So that's the, each one of these is 20 logs. That's over 300 logs straight away. So that's going to use up the majority of the wood that we've got. Yeah, yeah, wood's, uh, wood's going to be an issue. Right, let's get some stuff done, shall we? Right, I'm going to put in some, some roads so that uh, this is going to kind of determine how our, our colony looks actually I can go if I just follow this along here yeah that's fine then go across and then I'm just going to go straight up because we need access to these um, these trees up here and now I'm going to need some water pumping somewhere and I want it on this side of the dam because I don't think we'll get this well we won't get this done before the first drought hits so we're only going to have water in this area here so I think we'll do our pumping here. So I'm going to need like what one, two, one, two, three. So something like that. I'll get the pump and a little water tank. That'll work. Then I'm going to run the road along here. Now, what I want is for this road to meet these stairs. And I think that is the right place. So I'm going to want a couple of lumberjacks, lumberjack, lumberjack. And then now this is something that I thought I was going to hate. And this is an update four thing, which is the, the storage, the way they change the storage. I thought I was going to hate this because you have to put in a different storage for each type of product. And I thought it's going to be overly micromanaging and not be fun. But actually, it's awesome. I really, really like it. Um, what I don't like is that I keep putting in warehouses when I mean to put in piles. Yeah, piles, not fun. Um, should we move on? I think we should. Uh, logs. Uh, so that's set up for logs. Good. We need to do the same thing up here. Uh, one and one and grab a storage, small pile, flip you around, pop you in there. And that's going to be set up for logs as well. OK, cool. Right. That is going to generate the initial wood. What do we need? We need three things. We need wood. We need food. We need water. We're going to get a water pump you in there and a small water tank is going to go there so that's water done next food well we're going to we're going to get berries aren't we no we're not we're going to skip berries which is going to save us time and resources and we're going to go straight to farms now update four introduced the uh, the efficient farm where is it it's in food uh, this is the one the efficient farmhouse we are going to want an efficient farmhouse about there-ish so I want kind of the front door equidistant to like all the corners. Yeah, it's about right. It'll do. It'll do. It's good enough. Right. Let's have a path going across there. Now we need some storage. Now I could throw in one of the um, one of the medium warehouses, but you lose like six tiles, uh, and we want it close to the farmhouse. So they're some of the most productive tiles. So I'm just going to use. I'm just going to throw in a couple of small warehouses, uh, at least initially. 
Uh, and you'll see, you'll see later how th th there's method in the madness. Trust me. Uh, this needs to be set up for carrots, and this needs to be set up for carrots. Now each one of these holds thirty, so that's sixty. But the farmhouse itself will hold fifty, so that's one hundred and ten total storage, which should be fine for uh, for getting us started. Let's get crops and carrots, and we'll just mark in uh, all of that. And now I want a ride going across there as well for something important. I think we'll do it like that. Yeah, that looks fine. While I think about that road, this road is going to go across here and wend its way up eventually to this barricade so that we can unlock it. So that's why I want that there. Okay, I think we're almost ready to kick this off. There's one more thing that we've got to do, and that is prioritize so i'm going to set these two very high and these two very high so wood production is the most important thing to get started because you can't build anything else without having the wood production so those are the most important once they've got those built then i want the water pump built let's get on with it go 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 and they race into action uh, one thing i did forget i need to increase the working hours because we only have about six or seven days. There's an absolute ton for them to do. And the other thing that I want to do is increase the number of uh, build, uh, well, workers, builders. They're actually builders. I don't know why they're called workers. They're builders. So we're, we're off building the lumberjack flags up there. Yes, good. Right. This is complaining because I haven't marked any trees to be cut down. So let's get all of those marked. And we're going to have the same situation over here. So let's mark all of this. And these ones up here as well. Boom. All right, cool. So, and there they go. Immediately, they're ripping down those trees. This is nom noms. This is nom noms for beavers. <laughs> look at them. Look at them go. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> uh, we've got we've got the wood production done. So we're now wor working on the water pump. Now the water pump. I want this not only to be uh, high priority construction, but high priority in terms of workers. Uh, that also goes for the wood production. It's very important that we have people working on the wood production all the time. Right, we've got the water pump done. Let's get the farm prioritized. And again, workplace, high priority. Okay, we have eight adult beavers. We have one vacancy which um yeah is in the in the district in the workers that's fine that's good because this is set at normal priority so basically uh all of the important jobs will be filled first and then anybody left over will go and become a, a builder all right cool so they're working on this they should be working on the farmhouse we're halfway to getting this built now because we're not bringing in berries we need to get this built really quickly so that we can start planting up. Now, once we start planting up, then we can take people um, out of the farmhouse, let the crops grow, and then put them back in to gather the crops. So, a bit micromanagey, but yeah, it, it is what it is. How we do? And that's it. It's built. Okay, go. Come on. Get in there. Yes, and we are planting our first carrots. Exciting times. <laughs> it's great isn't it there they go and they'll throw these in at an alarming rate look, look how fast they're putting these in oh they need a drink now at this point we can get the uh, the water barrel finished off but they should be doing that anyway because they can only have one person working on the dam at a time so but you know what I might uh, I might up the priority on that just to the same priority as the dam so that they do get on with it it's a, it's a nice to have it's not essential it's a nice to have okay i'm going to speed this up now because i want them to get all of this planted and of course as soon as i do that they all go to sleep they do it deliberately i swear we're up to we're up to nine adult beavers now uh what's well, so one of our beavers has grown up sane sane has grown up and begun his life of hard toiling with very little reward <laughs> okay we're on to the last field there they go go on boys okay they're all done right so now i'm going to pause 
the farmhouse, now they can go back to doing other things. Awesome source. So we have nine adults working, we have no vacancies, and we have no unemployed. So that's kind of the perfect balance right now. Uh, but as you can see, we've got hungry beavers, but we've still got food. Now let's have a look at these crops. These crops are going to take four days. We are 25% of the way there. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be fun. Right, once we get across here, I'm going to want these guys to uh, start cutting these trees down. So why don't I get a jump on that and start setting that up now? That's a good idea, Sky. Fancy you being ahead of the game. That doesn't happen very often. That's not what I want. I want lumberjack flags. So flip it around. We'll put in, let's see. Uh, I'm going to put in one there. Flip you around. Put in one there. And then we want a storage, don't we? Yes, we do. Small pile. Flip you around and pop you in there. And set you up for logs. I remembered. I'm going to forget so many times. You guys are going to be there like every episode. Dear Sky, I saw you moronically forget to put this. Yeah, 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 all right. Enjoy yourselves, guys. This is going to be an absolute bumper season for you guys for leaving comments about all the things I've forgotten. Right, how are we doing? We are 1.3 days away from the drought. My God, that happened quick. We're going to have the drought. Uh, so we're on day four. So I guess it will be day seven. Boom. So we've had like six days before the drought starts. God, God, I've forgotten how brutal the droughts are. They are truly horrific. But we are starting on the second dam, which is awesome. So they're getting on with that. We've got our water tank built. That's great. What I need to keep an eye on, um, especially because when I'm running it this fast, is the crops because as soon as those crops are ready we need to start we need to turn this on and start harvesting uh it's gonna be staggeringly important where are we we're up to 11 adults we've only got one kit that hasn't grown up which means we've got two people sitting around doing nothing but right now there isn't a whole hell of a lot for them to do um yeah okay well we're, we're getting the lumberjacks done so actually there is stuff for them to do uh we can get these trees marked for cutting down so let's mark all of those for cutting down and then i want to get rid of all of these berries so let's get that done that would be nice okay how are we doing we are 94 percent so literally as soon as the first one pops 96 percent we're up to now 97 i'm going to set this active now so boom give the guys a oh that was perfect timing that was awesome picture you should have seen that i actually did something wow. just boom boom perfect <laughs> it never happens does it guys you you know you've been here before you know the usual routine just a catalog of mistakes and stupidity never-ending errors okay right. okay well we're we're going to be getting some food in we have got hungry beavers. I think they are all hungry. No, not every, not everybody's hungry. Okay, well, that's a really good thing. And the, the carrots are coming in. And the carrots are going out. But it's, it's looking encouraging. It's looking very encouraging. So we've got water. We've, uh, we've got food. We've got wood coming in, although we're chewing through it. At an alarming rate. Oh, these guys are done. Right, I, I'm not going to replant this anytime soon. Probably never, frankly. So we can dispense with that one and we can dispense with that one. And is this empty? Yes, it's empty. In which case we can dispense with that as well. Boom. And we should, yes, we get, uh, we get a little bit of the resources back, which is very, very nice. Okay, good. Trying to get rid of the berries is very difficult because they, they respawn. Uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, that stump. And those, and all of those. Okay, cool. Right, they're making good progress. How are we doing with the deck? My God! We're almost across. We are into the, we are into the drought season. And as you can see, all of this has dried up all the way around here. We do still have a little bit of water in the lake. Dried up all the way. So all we've got is this tiny strip of water which we are rapidly drinking, but it'll be fine. That's that's plenty of water to get us through a very short first dr first drought season. 
So it's all going to be good. It's all going to be good. But next season, we will have all of this water as well. That is sweet. Now, uh, they're almost done cutting down these trees. So what I should do is we can reach across here so I can uh, mark up these trees to be cut down as well. That's a good thing. Good. Okay, so let's have a little recap. We are looking great on water. We're looking great on wood and we're looking great on food, which is awesome. I'm going to slow it down. We are 0.6 days away from the, from the drought ending and I want to show you what happens when the drought ends. So... Uh, I want to give the, our workers something to do. So I think we're going to get the housing going. So what I want is a bunch of lodges in over here. I want this lined up with this, the, the door lined up with this bridge would be ideal. So I'm thinking there. Now, the way this is going to be, I'm going to have a gap and then another one of these. Then we flip it around. Now, I wanted something that it kind of, kind of mimicked the the helix so that's what i was going for with this i can't put this one in because that tree's in the way so that one would be there then that one would be there and as you can see this is kind of an off offset circle so that one there and that one and then flip it around again that one there and that one there so we're just missing that one okay so yeah, I, th I think that I think that's going to work. I think that's going to work quite nicely. So on this side, we can just go straight across here, and then here we're going to have uh, where are our well-being. We're going to have a campfire there. So the road's going to come down here and round. Okay, fine. And then the so the road is actually going to go across there like that and then up there and then there's going to be another one of those uh, campfires over here and let's see that one started there so this one will start at the door and go across like that okay so let's tidy things up a little bit right well they're, they're throwing these in very quickly we've got we're almost there we're almost at the end of the drought let's speed it up and let's see what happens at the end of the drought oh our beavers are happier than ever. We've just gone from from like one to three and now four. So that's a good start. The drought has ended. It's getting there. And over it goes. Right. Now, remember, we're on three times speed. We're on max speed. And look how slowly <laughs> this goes. So it's got to go round one, two three times and then it's got to go down here and fill up the lake and then get down to here yeah gonna take a while isn't it yeah it really is okay it's fine it's fine we'll we'll manage we'll manage somehow that there's gonna be some real efficiencies here but i can't actually show you that until we get some science going so uh, all i'm going to do for now is just run these roads in like this and from that side and from that side now there's going to be all kinds of this is going to be multi-level and there's going to be stairs and platforms and all the rest of it which can't build because i need science so what do we want science inventors flip this round and we could just we could just throw the two inventors in boom boom right done it's done right let's uh let's speed this up and get those built okay awesome awesome now once those get built then we can start looking at the the next thing which we, we, which we're going to need which is plank production well the water has now reached us the drought is officially over awesome right plank production um i was looking at where i would want to put this in and i've decided i'm going to put it down here right next to the scientist because it fits really nicely so what do i want i want a lumber mill and I'm just going to slap the lumber mill in uh, right over here and throw in, what do I want? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put in a power wheel. And the power wheel, now I need this <laughs> the right way around. So that's going to go in there. Okay, cool. And then all I need to do is get rid of this 
road and we can tidy things up quite nicely. This is going to be, this is going to be all right. So that can go down there. Okay, good, good, good. We've got our scientists going, which is awesome. Uh, this one, yeah, this one's going as well. They're spinning around. The science is starting to roll in. That is great. Uh, we need 60 science in order to get the forester uh, so that we can start planting up our own trees. Okay, with that built, we can set this to high priority, both of these. Awesome. And then we're going to need somewhere to store, first of all, the logs, because the logs are going to go in and get turned into planks, and then the planks that come out. So let's have the planks stored there. So that's planks. And then this one is going to be for logs. Awesome source. Oh, and there we go. We've got our first, <laughs> our first guy who drew the short straw and he's on the power wheel. Away he goes. And we are churning out planks. That is awesome. What are we up to? Oh, we've just hit 77, 78. I think at this point. Do I want to get the trees going first? I think I want to get the trees going first. So let's get the forest unlocked. 60 science. Yes, please. And I would like this guy to, to be there, really. Uh, let's see. How are we doing? Yeah, they can remove all those trees. They just need to actually get to it. Oh, now look at this. These guys have got chipped teeth, which is impacting their ability to do their job. So what we need to do is throw in, uh, over in well-being, a teeth grindstone. I don't think we'll just throw it in over here. Um, am I going to throw it in there? I think I'm probably just going to throw it in there for now. It'll probably get moved, to be honest, but that'll do. So let's see. Oh, look. Oh, doesn't looking at that set your teeth on edge? Ah! <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, here comes the next one. Oh, imagine that rough start on your teeth. Oh, God, that's horrible. Horrible. But they're cured. Woohoo! And we're up to level five well being. It's cycle two, day seven. And yes, we can, we can do some cool things right now. First of all, they've just. This guy's just chopped this tree down here so we can get the forester in. Awesome. That is a big step forward. Let's get the forester in. I also want a couple of other things here. Uh, I want some storage so that we can store some logs up here. Let's flip you around, pop you in, and get you set up for logs. And then we want a couple of lumberjacks up here as well. Boom, boom. Cool. So, next thing. Ha, ha, ha. We are going to start our ascent up here to uh, demolish this barrier. So how are we going to get up there? We, um, the first thing we're going to do, yes, we've got enough science now. So we're going to unlock the wooden stairs. Yes. Cool. We, we still need platforms. So we still need another hundred science, but we can start to plan this out. So how is this going to work? Uh, we will go up to there. So we're going to need a, a platform there, and then we'll have stairs there. We'll have stairs flipped around there. Stairs to get across here. So stairs down, stairs up. Path going through here. I need to get rid of that tree. Then we'll have stairs there. Path. And then I guess we'll go kind of like halfway and to there and another staircase okay cool where are we were 27 we need to get up to 100 so we can get the platforms but they can get on with building those excellent let's speed things up because it's just a case of getting these things built now how many workers do we have right now we've got two we are up to oh in fact we've now got four because we're we've just had some some kids grow up awesome that was good timing we are at 15 beavers but we've got room for another nine in fact we've got room for another eight because we've now got 16 beavers hooray they are multiplying like um well beavers frankly let's get some trees in i think so what do i want i want plant trees so we'll have like maybe so we'll have a large pile there we'll have a few more pine trees maybe maybe up to there uh and then i think we're going to have chestnut trees now the chestnut trees are going to be for the chestnuts 
So we're going to need to put in uh, a gatherer for that, maybe there. And then we'll want him to have a storage for the chestnuts. Okay, so we've got a chestnut storage. So uh, we, <laughs> we need to get the trees. It's all right going the storage and everything, but we need the trees. I think maybe, maybe to there. Okay, good. And then, uh, and then I'm going to go with oak trees. Oak trees produce eight logs. They take 30 days to grow compared to um, a pine tree which take, uh, produces two, but it takes 12 days to grow. So they're, they're more efficient in the long term. So we'll get, we'll get all of that planted up and then we'll plant up as much of this as, as we can. I need a road coming up here because we need to put a dam across here. But that's kind of not the most important thing right now. So let that run. Okay, how are we doing? We've got our two staircases in. Perfect. Uh, we need uh, to connect those with a path. And then these over here, I guess we should get another lumberjack in. Okay, cool. Right. Let's get, uh, let's get that completed so that we can get that done. And I will work on trying to put a, a road through here somehow. Right, we have enough science now. Look at this, we've got 268 science. We're on uh, cycle two, day 14. Uh, we've got enough science that we can unlock these platforms now. And that is going to open up a whole bunch of things. So let's get platform there, platform there, one there. Okay, let's get the final stairs put in. So one there, one there, and one there. Uh, oh, there's one more thing I want to unlock, and this is where the optimization comes in. So I want actually decorations and I want to unlock the shrub because this will give us aesthetics. Well, we'll unlock this and then we're going to have one of these there and one there and one there and one there. Now, what that means is that while they're in their houses, they'll be getting the benefit of, uh, of this aesthetics. But that's not the only thing. Oh, no. Oh, no. We'll unlock the shrine as well. So, we'll flip this around and have that. Yeah, I guess I guess we'll have it that way. So, while they're while they're praying in the shrine, uh, they're also going to get the aesthetic bonus. And the same if I flip that around there. And the same if I flip that around there. Uh, do I want one more? Yes, I want one more. Flip you around. Boom. Okay, so... Next, next, we're going to put in uh, campfires. And because the campfire is going to be adjacent to this, if they're in here, they'll, they'll also get the, bo the benefit of this, uh, this aesthetic. Uh, but that's not all. Oh, no, that's not all. What else do we want? We want... Oh, and we're up to well-being six now. <laughs> Things are going to move along quite well now. We're going to have platforms in. There, 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 and there. Awesome. And then we're going to have a platform there yeah in all four corners one two three four i'm trying i'm trying to remember how i designed this uh so let's flip that around that goes in there that goes in there flip that around that goes in there and that one goes in there okay so that gets us up to this level now what i am going to have eventually uh is some more housing up here so we'll have lodges there and then there and there and there we're gonna have some a couple of rooftop terraces i'm just wondering where i'm gonna have the rooftop terraces we're gonna have the rooftop terrace there flip around and there so we're gonna have some storage here as well for uh, specifically for food so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna throw in some small warehouses let's flip you around so i want to have one two flip it around three four one two flip it around three four okay and then 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 we're gonna have uh, some more platforms going on there and there or some okay and then we're also once i get these um these extra houses built which i'm not going to build yet because uh, we don't have the food or water resources to cope with any more beavers. So uh, there will be rooftops going on here. So what it's going to mean is when they're in here doing any kind of um, relaxation, relaxation or social life or whatever, 
uh, or the shrines, they're going to get the benefit of the aesthetics of the shrubs and the roofs, like wherever they are. So from that perspective, it's going to be very good. I need to see about putting in another farm over here, I think. So uh, let me plan that out. Okay, so we've got a farmhouse, we've got storage for potatoes and potatoes. So all I need to do now, I've tidied up all of the, the roads around here now. So all we need to do is put in some potatoes to be planted. That's seven on each side. Yeah, looks about right. Okay, cool. So we now have a potato farm as well as our carrot farm. I think what I'm going to do is we'll drop this down to just two workers. Uh, we'll get this put together pretty quickly i think uh and i'm gonna drop this down to two workers as well how are we doing for carrots yeah we're doing good on carrots at the moment oh everything's getting built slowly but surely we are up to well-being seven now so let's have let's have a little look so we're now getting a 10 percent work bonus five percent speed bonus uh and we're starting to see some health bonuses as well with increased life expectancy which is very very nice okay well we're going to have a lot more bonuses than that very, very soon. What I need to uh, put in now is uh, the ability to cook up our chestnuts and our potatoes. So I think we'll probably do that over here. Yeah, yeah let's do it over here. So what do we want? We want food. We want uh, a grill. Let's do the potato one here, I guess. Yeah, OK, we'll put that there. And then now up here, I've got these set up for this is going to have stored grilled chestnuts. This is grilled potatoes and this is carrots and this is carrots. And it's the same on this side as well. OK, that is all set up. We've got a uh, grill over here. This is doing grilled chestnuts. We've got storage for the grilled chestnuts on that side. We've got chestnuts on this side. And I'm going to set this up to obtain goods. Now, what that means is that rather, just, rather than just accepting goods that get dumped into it, um, it's going to actively try and get goods into here. Now, that's brought by, uh, by the haulers. So we actually need a haulers guild uh, or a haulers post, whatever, whatever it's called. What is it? A haulers post? A hauling post. Yeah. Uh, and I've been trying to figure out where on earth to put this. Yeah, I think I'm just going to throw it in here. I might, that might move at some point. But you know what? It'll do for now. That's fine. Uh, and then, now that I've tidied this up, we can get in here. I, um, I suppose I should probably prioritise that, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's prioritise that. But this is going to be the lowest priority. So it's only if every other job is filled, will anybody go and work as a hauler. Which is, um, is going to work out fine. Right, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I want a campfire. Where are we? Well-being. And uh, boom, in it goes. Awesome sauce. Just in time, the water's coming down here. Let's set all of these to be demolished. And that one, and that one, and that one. Oh, and the water now starts to be diverted down here. This is perfect timing because, as you can see, this, <laughs> this water up at the helix is slowly coming around here. It's going to take an age to get all the way down here, fill in the lake, and then start coming down here. Whereas this water, boom, we've got it. Now, that is a hell of a lot faster than waiting for this to come down. So that means our droughts are going to end sooner. And that's a really, really good thing. That gives us a lot of security. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's just gone. <laughs> come on. Do it again. We've got, uh, we're harvesting our potatoes, which is awesome. We've got potatoes. Oh, and there goes the smoke. And we are producing grilled potatoes. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that is very, very awesome. We haven't quite got this build yet. We're starved for logs. I'm, I've, I've got this up here and we are cutting these trees down, but we are pretty starved for logs. Um, so what I've what I've got is I've got uh, I've got them clearing these trees. We need to extend this path so that they can finish doing it. Um, how do I want to do this? I think maybe straight up the centre there. Let's extend that up there. And I think what we'll do is we'll put in another forester over here. 
and we'll we'll have a whole tree thing going on in this area. So what do I want? To, I want uh, I want another forester right there. Yeah, we'll put in a large pile there. I'm looking at that and thinking, would I want to extend that road? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. So it's not a problem. Don't invent problems. Uh, and then we'll put we'll just put a small pile there, I guess. So we'll set that up for logs and this for logs, please. What do I want? Plant trees, oak trees, and there. And this final patch there. Cool. Which is um, to be honest, more than two lumberjacks are gonna be able to cope with. But it's fine, it's fine. I'd rather have too many trees than too few. Okay. How are we doing? We're doing we're doing okay. We're doing like oh look at this. We hit uh, we hit level nine on the well-being. It dropped a little bit, but it's on the way back up, which is great. I think I'm gonna unlock some decorations. I'm gonna unlock am I gonna go yeah, I'm gonna go with the two by three. So we can put a 2x3 roof on there and a 2x3 roof on there, which will help quite a lot in terms of the, um, the aesthetic bonus because that covers most things. Uh, I suppose... No, I don't want to build these other four houses until I've got additional uh, water supplies coming in. So the next, the next big job... And kind of the last thing that I want to do in preparation for the big project is the, the dam over here. So let's get this going. Now, in order to get this dam going, um, I'm going to need some floodgates so that we can let the water out. So we need to unlock, that's the wrong one, landscaping. Um, this is only single, yeah, it's only going to be a single layer. So we only need the single floodgate, don't we? Yeah. Let's unlock that. Uh, if I put four, that should be fine. And then we'll have four levees. Yeah, four levees. So I want levees going across there like that. Um, what I'm thinking of, because obviously I, I need some way of getting across here to do this. So I guess what we'll do is we'll put in some platforms across there. And then we'll just, we'll just do it like that, I guess. Which is not particularly tidy, but you know what? it'll get the job done and that's fine so and we're across to there so i suppose probably um we can do that right we've chopped all these trees down so we can we can pause that lumberjack now okay awesome oh we've got our chestnut trees coming through that's great we're 30 percent of the way to getting chestnuts we do have the haulers now, and we've actually got a couple of haulers. So they will be moving stuff around now. So that's really good. While everything's coming together now, our trees are coming through. Let's say we're on cycle five, day five. We've got the drought. Uh, the drought is incoming in 1.3 days. I'm hoping we can get this dam finished by then, because that would be awesome. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it. Go, 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 go. Where are they all gone? <laughs> Here they come. Here they come. Poor hungry beavers. They're working very hard. How are we doing? We are... Oh, that just needs to get built. And this one... Oh, we need two logs and five planks. That one's finished. Oh, we are so close. Let's see. Can I, can I click on you? There we go. What do we need? We, st we need the five planks. If I... You know what? If I decrease the priority on these four... Oh! Yes! There it is! We've got it! And we've done it before we've lost this water, which is awesome! Okay, this is drying up. So at this point, what I want to do is raise that so that we keep as much water in there as possible. Fabulous. Okay, so we now have, oh, oh we're, we're almost there. Uh, we've got all of this water. Uh, you know what? Let's not talk about that. Let's get some stuff done. Um, we can now put in the extra four houses. Yes, let's do it. What do I want? I want housing. I might say I'm all excited now. Housing, uh, flip you around. We want one there, one, th there i think <laughs> one 
yeah there and one there cool uh we want some we want some nice roofs on top of there let's get some roofs going what do i want i want decorations and we want the two by twos don't we yeah that's the one unlock that so we'll have now how are we gonna we have it that way yeah we'll have that one there flip it around that one there boom and boom and that is going to be that done. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it. I would love to plant up some decorative bushes or trees around here and probably around here. But well, we'll see about that. First of all, we've got to get this stuff built. OK, we do need some more water. Uh, if we're going to add another, what, 3, 6, 9, 12 beavers. We're at 24. This is going to take us up to 36. Now, that's 50% more beavers okay three pumps is going to be more than adequate for 36 beavers um food <laughs> we are awesome for food now what i'm what i'm waiting for is for the uh, for the chestnuts to come through we are getting chestnuts yes and look we've got we've got stores coming in We've got supplies of grilled potatoes. We've got carrots in there. What we don't have here is the uh, is the the grilled chestnuts yet. That's going to make uh, quite an impression over here. We'll uh, we'll get this set up for water and this one set up for water. Right. One last thing that we need to do. Do we have wood? Do we have? Like, as per usual, I can't get wood. <laughs> <laughs> uh we've got planks and i don't really need planks right now so i'm just going to pause the production of planks for a little while okay we've got so we've got some some logs coming in okay i wonder if i can do this now um hopefully hopefully i can let's pause this and i'm going to demolish these three centerpieces this is actually going to be the last part of the well-being and you might be going well how how does how does this contribute to well-being i'll show you in a second let's throw in stairs there flip it around stairs there and one little bit of path in the middle to link it together all we need to do is get this built we'll crank up the priority on this let's see can we get this done this one we just need one log and we do have a couple of logs over there so they can get it. yes there we go that's the first set and if they can get that done then they should be able to get this one done yep there's the logs there's the planks get it built okay right how is this going to help well-being every beaver that goes through here gets wet fur right and if we look at wet bit uh, the <laughs> the well-being you can see it already 11 beavers have gone through there and got wet fur and our average well-being has just hit 10 now if we look grilled chestnuts um we're, we're, we're 16 of 30 uh, you get two points for grilled potatoes two points for grilled chestnuts so there's another point coming in there oh can we hit 12 um ah you know what what i need to do is uh, drop the working hours down to 16 so that they've got more time to, to spend a little bit of time in the campfire and the rooftop look at that boom 12 okay i've done it <laughs> i have done exactly what i set out to achieve in this episode which is frankly staggering we have uh, a colony set up for uh, 36 beavers with food with water with a great wood supply and adequate water reservoirs wow so next episode we're going to be venturing down here into the river valley and we're going to be building the mega drought buster you don't want to miss that guys i hope you've enjoyed this as much as i have i've had an absolute blast i cannot wait to get onto the the, the first real mega structure leave me a comment let me know what you think and i'll catch you for the next one thanks for watching guys peace out <laughs>